Hey Facebook, what is up? Happy Tuesday. Lindsay Lombardi here again, Find Your Freedom Coaching. And I wanted to talk a little bit today about, um, sort of finish up the series on um, fitness instructing and becoming a fitness professional. Wanted to talk today about adding in more than just be, being a fitness instructor and really moving your fitness career um, to the next level, certainly income wise too, because for a lot of people, um, right, you can't, you don't make a bunch of money teaching classes. And secondly, you can only teach so many classes, um, a week, right? Um, I know for me, my maximum is 10 classes a week because I'm an old lady and my body just doesn't want to move. Hey, Edgar. Um, my body just doesn't want to move um, like maybe it would have 10 years ago, 15 years ago. So um, I, I just know like there's a maximum number of classes that I can teach a week and you only make so much per class. So it, you know, can kind of teeter on the edge of being like, there's a ceiling there with what you can make with just teaching classes. So what I wanted to talk about today is some other options that you have as a fitness professional on how to grow your business um, through different avenues. So um, how can you make up that income difference via other avenues is by offering other services to people. Um, the one thing that I found is working with, um, hey Erica, is that I've learned like to have for me, I had ended up with like a niche of people that I work with. For me, I work with busy women mostly. So I've learned that by working with busy women, I kind of know what people, what people's needs are, specifically busy women, because I was one of them, right? So I've learned to add more services that, hey, Edgar, what is up? Um, to add more services that will provide or really meet the needs of people who are busy, specifically women. So I've added in personal training. So I can I only work with a very specific person for personal training. Um, and then I also offer virtual training. So this is what became really popular for a lot of, um, for mainly a lot of women who are are just busy who um, maybe they're a mother and they're working 50 60 hours a week um, they don't have time to meet me personally at the gym or come to any of my classes maybe they can make a class or a session with me a week but they needed other solutions so um, I started working in a more virtual setting with people and I found that this is sort of like the missing, um, this becomes like the missing thing for most people, like that aha um, service or um, really like a filling of a need that most people realize maybe they needed without even knowing that they needed it. Um, <clears throat> hey Dana, so um, in adding more services to, to what I provide and more avenues, it's allowed me to um, to create a full-time income within this business. So for a lot of people, when they just train, it become it's sort of like a part-time income, right? When they're just um, out there either training or, um, or instructing classes, um, or they start this as a hobby thing, so part-time. So adding in the virtual setting has, has, really been able to make to allow me to bring my business to the next level so I wanted to share that with you guys because for those of you who are thinking either about getting into this industry or maybe you're maybe you're an instructor who is just thinking about how can I um, how can I move this into a um, how can you move this into something that's um, going from like a hobby part-time into a full-time career. Hey, Neil, what's up? Um, awesome, fellow um, Cal, you graduate. Awesome, awesome. Um, so I want to talk also about um, 
what happens like once you start adding in these services and how you can kind of expand your business based on um you know the more that you do as a fitness professional the more that you can offer people so recently um you know we like i mentioned in earlier in earlier um facebook lives and videos that i've done um awesome edgar just says he was just what I was about to say. He's working on getting his group fitness cert. Um, so the more certifications that you get, the more services that you can provide to people. So a lot of us start with, and, I, and I'm gonna give this example because I think this is a, an example of how most people get involved in, in the fitness industry, is they start teaching a group fitness class. And the reason being is it's super easy to get a certification for a group fitness class, is you can just kind of go to a one day certification or a two day certification and um, and get that certification. You don't have to take like a, sh like a really hard written test, right? Um, they do sort of test you in the course um, in that one or two day class, but it's, it's a lot easier to pass that one, right? So I'd say like 99% of the people who go to like a one day or two day, like a group fitness type of certification where it's um, like a, like a one-off format that they can go out and they can start teaching that right away depending on the gym that they're working for. So some gyms may require out other outside certifications, but some gyms just allow you to have that one certification and have some CPR training and you can go right ahead and start and start teaching that class. So I think that's how most people first get involved in the industry. So I wanted to just talk about um, what happens after. So they start maybe building some confidence they're, they're teaching a bunch of classes. It's like, now what? You know, maybe they want to do something further in the industry, but they just don't know how. Um, exactly, and Edgar just mentioned he has his um, personal training cert um, and just want to be able to offer more services. So what happens when you have these certifications and then you're like, okay, well, what else can I offer people besides just teaching a class? So part of some of these certifications is that you have to take um, continuing education courses every other year to keep that certification going. So it makes sense to find things, find cert other certifications that you can take. So it kind of kills two birds with one stone. You kind of um, take a certification that you think the people that you're working with will need, a service that you can provide to people that you also enjoy providing that service. So. Um, I have, I've done, um, I'm now a fitness nutrition specialist. Um, I'm also a, um, behavioral change therapist. So I can actually talk to people specifically, um, or a specialist in that, in that sense, because that fascinates me is like, what, what causes people to make change in their lives? Because normally it's, um, it's not just motivation. Everyone thinks that they need motivation. But it's not that. They need to make a behavioral change, something um, I always say to people that in, in reaching any type of um, wellness goal, that you need to work the mindset muscle just as much as you work you know, your ab muscle or your bicep muscle or whatever it is, that you have to work on your mindset first. So um, I more recently just got um, a specialty um, certification in behavioral change because again that fascinates me and I think that that's um, that's like the foundation of everything and if you can't help people in that way first how are you going to be able to help people um, take on you know take on their own wellness and take on their whole their own life because that's really what it comes down to like the one area spills into the other so anyway um, let me get off my soapbox when it comes to um, when it comes to mindset. Um, but by adding these other certifications, you can now help people in all different areas and all different ways because it's not it's not this like one dimensional thing when you get for for wellness specifically. Um, and so, if you want to be able to build um, a, really a full time income business in this industry, yes, you have to start thinking about the different services that you'll provide to people um, 
because more than likely just by doing like one thing won't um, won't pay the bills this is definitely a passion type business um, but like I said if you start thinking about getting more into the virtual setting um, with being able to help people it's amazing to um, to be able to, to provide really like amazing services to like a very specific type of person that you want to work with um, and you're able to obviously build a stronger income that way because at the end of the day right we love doing what we love but when we can't make a living off of it it can become like what's the point like if we can't really create a full-time income from just teaching classes you have to find another way to um, to be in the industry that you're passionate about so guys I hope you found this helpful I hope um, this inspires some people if you're just you know if you're a fitness instructor or you were thinking about it and you're thinking like well how can I how can I move um, my fitness business beyond what I'm doing currently um, again I love to mentor people and help them you know figure out what some choices are for them so if you have any questions um, feel free to reach out um, I'm always here to kind of point you into um, various directions that I think um, could be a helpful resource um, have a great week I think this might be my last installment for this um, fitness business series however um, I think I'm going to be teaming up with some other fitness professionals over the next few weeks and I'll probably come back every once in a while and maybe do some um, team up with some other some other people so we can actually do some videos together and talk about the industry because it seems like there's so many people who have questions and um, and ideas and or um, or fears around around this industry and what they want to accomplish so if I can at all help anybody figure out if this is right for them I'd love to so again reach out and I will talk to you guys soon see you later